Are you looking for a little bit of help when it comes to studying for the Praxis Social Studies test? Well, how about we take a look at Social Studies Subtest 5004, Geography, Anthropology, and Sociology. Hi, I'm Sandra Weiser Matthews, and I have a doctorate degree in education, and I'm here to help you get ready for that Praxis exam and to really start digging into geography. So why don't we go ahead and start analyzing each of our questions? In order to understand which of these is the best answer, let's take a look at the question and analyze it. Which of the following illustrates how geography helps understand the distribution of resources and economic activities? Letter A, influence of geography on economic development so that the focus is on economic activities and urban planning. Well, this question is talking about geography and it's talking about the distribution of resources um, and it's not talking necessarily about urban planning. Economic activities do not exist in isolation, but are deeply tied to the availability of natural resources. So without acknowledging how spatial patterns and physical geography determine resource allocation, the option here just is not comprehensive enough. Let's go to letter B. Analyzing spatial patterns and physical features to comprehend resource distribution and economic activities. This answer is geography plays a fundamental role in understanding the distribution of resources uh, by looking at spatial patterns such as climate and landforms and proximity to water. We can determine where resources are located and how they influence economic activities. So this is also a very important way of looking at this answer, and it is the correct answer. C, let's continue on. Focusing on cultural aspects and activities. Well, right here they're talking about cultural aspects, but that is not what this question is asking about geography and distribution of resources. And then letter D, understanding resource distribution is impact on urban planning and development. And again, we are not talking about urban planning and development. So again, the correct answer is letter B. Regina says that all vegans must be extremely healthy because they don't eat animal products. Her statement is an example of which sociological concept. Let's take a look at positive stereotype. Positive stereotype is the correct answer because it is a generalized belief about a group that appears favorable, but can still be misleading or problematic. So this is a positive, but it's also a stereotype. Let's, let's continue on with discrimination. This is incorrect because discrimination involves treating individuals unfairly based on group membership. And that's not necessarily what we're talking here. Negative stereotype, well, it's a positive situation. They're talking about all, you know, they must be healthy, which is a positive. It is still a stereotype. And then prejudice is also not correct because it involves a generalized belief that portrays a group in an unfavorable or harmful way. And that's not really what uh, Regina's statement is doing. So the correct answer is A, positive stereotype. Which of the following is an example of a region defined by physical characteristics? So let's take a look at this question. Physical characteristics is what we're going to be looking at in a region. So a Corn Belt, though it is a agricultural region, it doesn't really have physical characteristics. B, the Rocky Mountains definitely have physical characteristics and continue on in many states with those same characteristics. So B looks stronger. C, the Silicon Valley. The Silicon Valley is much more of an economic um, region and not a physical characteristic. And the European Union is a, an example of a, a monetary, again, economic situation. So the correct answer to this is B, the Rocky Mountains. Which of the following is an example of how humans change the environment? So A, natural erosion shaping riverbanks. So this is natural erosion happening and it's not how humans necessarily are doing that. Uh, humans can eventually cause that erosion, but natural erosion is not an answer to this question. B, urban development leading to deforestation. So how can humans, when we start going out there and taking out the forest, we are 
you know, expanding our urban development and we are leading to deforestation, which can cause all kinds of environmental change. C, flooding altern altering landscapes and seasonal flooding can make a big difference because you you know it, it it causes a lot of harm and it is definitely a situation that is in the environment but it is something that is actually happening in the environment and it's not human created and earthquakes again are not human created so how humans are changing the environment not in a natural erosion but in this urban Example, not seasonal and not earthquakes. So the correct answer is letter B, urban development leading to deforestation. For more practice, head over to study.com to the Praxis Elementary Education Social Studies Subtest 5004 playlist. We have full length videos. We have all kinds of materials here at study.com. We've got all the latest updates and every kind of material to help you be successful on your Praxis exam. So please go to study.com and also subscribe and like this video. And we'd also really enjoy hearing from you, provide us comments and some success stories. And we just really hope the best for you. Thanks for watching. Happy studying.